Hey, what's going on guys? So we are filming a, um, I about to say a tech tech, uh, a super casual video. Um, I am playing Tisa and Paul is playing. Gods. Cool. Which, um, you, have they, have they seen a duck tech from this video? Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Probably okay. not. Cool. Um, well, um, I'm going to get us started and I am going to play, um, and I've tweaked this deck actually quite a bit and I don't know if I've done an updated deck tech for you guys, but I'm going to play a planes and I'm going to play Legion's Landing. I just want to feel that I'm going to create a 1-1 one, one vampire with lifelink. Go ahead, Paul. And that vampire with Draw. lifelink is going to be Bell. I'm going to play a Marsh Flat. Then I'm going to fetch pass i'm gonna get the white green so you're fetching but not shocking yeah correct you're at 39 cool are you all set uh yes cool i'm going to actually i don't even remember what shocks i have in this deck but i'm getting something with white and green if i can cool um sweet uh, i'm gonna play a swamp i'm gonna attack you for one with lifelink I will take one. You're gonna go to 38, and I'm gonna go to 41. Um, my second main phase, I'm going to play Bitter Blossom. So it can be black if needed. And I'm That's gonna put my, my hand. real sweet the second half of the deck. on my deck so I don't forget my trigger. Also drinking some uh, tea. We got some peach tea today, and Paul's so drinking a strawberry parfait tea. <laughs> Such a red strawberry parfait. I don't know why. I think that's really funny. Okay. So potentially that. Um, oh, the, the duel. The, 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 not try. the duel, the try. Yeah. Oh, the try lancers. Those are so good. We opened I, up a couple of those when we opened them. I box. think that's probably what I'm just going to grab because it's probably better than a shock, anyways. I'm not going to shock. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Okay. Cool. We're going to grab the triome. I lost, so I'm at 38. You have that correct because I did, oh, you did um, fetch. Yeah, you're at 38 because I also took, you took damage from yep. my lifelinker. Yep. Oh, this is kind of a, uh, I realize this is really funny because I have this that has a lifelink. This mm -hmm. is lifelink, but then I lose life. So how funny is this kind oh, of like Oh, so that's going to go. That is very funny. You're not going to lose any life. That's... Yeah. My only thing is I feel like with this deck, what I should probably get are like custom tokens mm -hmm. that have the different effects on them because I have so many different ways yeah. of getting tokens in this deck and it almost feels like I need tokens that designated like, mm -hmm. this is the vampire, whatever, you know? So that's your passing turn, correct? Um, I am. I played a Bitter Blossom. Cool. I'll untap. I will draw, I'll tap to play Soul Ring. an Amulet of Vigor. Oh, <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> this is really good in that deck. Yeah, with all the lands that enter tapped. Um, so I have my white green, which is good, on uh, black, so I need red and blue. So I'm going to play an Arid Mesa, and then I will fetch. You're at 37, are you going to shock? Uh, why would I shock? I have an Amulet of Vigor. Never mind, Amulet of Vigor is really good. Amulet of Vigor in this deck is so good. I feel like Amulet does not belong in many commander decks, but it definitely so belongs in this when all your lands enter tapped. A lot of mine do, unfortunately. So, um, so there's potentially the Steam Vents. Um... There is, but I might have another Tryland that has red, blue, and something else, which would just be strictly better. I don't know what your mana base is in that deck. I, so like I don't know of, it well enough. It's kind of an at interesting this point. situation. So, but I'm gonna hold that one to the side for now, just in case that is what I decide to get. Um, I need red, blue. That's not red, blue. What does this do? This is one. Okay, there, there's another Trium. So that's red, blue, green. So I now have all five colors, but can only produce two, which is great. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything else, but... Cool. Your deck just got infinitely better because that ain't the bigger. Uh, well, I need the lands to play everything in my deck, so there is that. Yeah. Um... Okay, so that is now shuffled. Fine there. All right, I can play nothing else this turn, so I will just pass. Cool. On my upkeep, I will lose a life. 
you will Which think I'm gonna one. literally gain back in a second and I'm gonna create a one one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like this yep. to signify the difference because it's gonna matter, you know? Yep. Draw a card. Um Evolving Wilds. And punch you for one. You're at thirty six. I'm gonna gain one. I'm back to forty one. Okay. I'm going to play a thematic compass. Okay. And I'm going to crack my evolving wilds. Yep. Go ahead. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna grab a white source. Oh. Okay. Um, Are you owing yourself? Yeah. Okay. Um. Does it really change what I want to do? Oh, this card is so sick. This card is awesome. It's like does a card doesn't come in foil though, which like makes me really sad. So when I bought it, I was like, oh, man. It's like a card that needs a reprint. I have to go through, once, I'm, um, once I go through my wishlist, I'm going to do like another updated Cards I Want reprinted video. Um, I don't really want to do that first main if I'm going to do that. So yeah, that, which would allow that. OK. I'm going to play. A Temple of Epiphany. You are going to scry. I am. Um, I'm going to leave that on top. Okay. I'm going to move to second main, if I didn't already say that. And I'm going to tap three and play Clythos, God of Destiny. Which one's that one? That's um, as long as your devotion red or green is within seven, not a creature at the beginning of your pre combat main phase. You add the red or green. Add a red or green. Yes. Uh, if I sacrifice, uh, exile land. If not, I do two damage to the point. You can also exile my stuff, correct? Yes. Got it. Cool. That's your pre combat main phase, though. Yes. Got it. Cool. You all set? Yep. Cool. Uh, oh, that's at the beginning. I could have played that. Trigger. But it's fine. It did make you it. made it very clear, and I was like, all right, I'm not going to tell you to live your life. Um, Unsap. Um, Bitter Blossom Trigger. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this one here. We have Princess Rapunzel. She's chilling. Try on a card. Um... I don't really think this oh, it does matter. Yeah, I want to do that first. Um, okay, well, we will attack. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack you with the Bitter Blossom token and then the Legion's yep. Landing token. So you take two, yep. you're at 34, and I'm going to gain one. I'm at back to 41. This is like a little flip-flops little situation. These are these are working real well together. Uh, that's cool. Um, okay, and then I'm going to activate Thematic Compass. I'm going to get um, Black Source. Isn't this cool? This is from... Uh, is that 10th edition? The, the X is X is from 10th edition, right? Is that the way that yep. that works? Got it. Cool. This is like a really, really cool. Oh, and it's also Johnny Yvon. <laughs> this is one of my faves. Um, I'm not done also. I'm, uh, I need to play a land in my second main phase. But I'm not going to play that land that I just played. Oh, also I have to actually tap You're not going to play the land you just played? No. You'll see why in a second. I actually have to tap this. You mean this Drew? I didn't draw it. Well, I mean, the land you just got, you didn't play. Temple of Sands on a scry. Bottom. I don't need that right now. You do not, I guess. Um, pass. All right. We're chilling. Untap, upkeep, draw. I wonder what I drew. Um. Did you scry? Yes. Oh, you screw with the. You, you screw. You scry. <laughs> You scried with the uh, oh, uh, oh beginning of pre combat main phase. I will exile my evolving wilds. I'll exile your evolving wilds. Yeah, yeah. I was like exile, and I'll gain stuff. a red or green. It's think, not gonna matter. I don't think I have any. Uh, I'm gonna play a verdant catacombs. Then I will fetch with my verdant catacombs. You are at thirty three. This has been like the game of poke damage. Honestly, like you're poking yourself and I'm poking you. Yeah, I know. At some point, my legion's landing is gonna trigger. Hopefully next turn. How does he trigger again? It triggers when I attack with three or more creatures. Okay. I get to transform it. And then for four, I can make tokens. 
Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, so this has to be black or what green. What is this one do? I have a, is this the one that becomes the, um, crown? what's that card? The, yeah, yeah, it's the untap. Maze of Ith. It's like the Maze of Ith ability. I really like the Mana Compass. I feel like it's a really good card. It's like a really good early game I do card. have another Triome, so. Cool. You and I are also like, I feel like all you do in that deck is just like shuffle constantly. Yep. Well, I'm doing a lot of fetching for lands right now. Yeah. Thinning the deck, so it's helpful. Um, yeah. It's also like really helpful with this too. Yeah. Which is really And cool. the amulet is making it really I know, much, so much I know. better. Amulet is so such a good choice. I remember we were, um, we were trading, we were trading with Chuck a couple mm -hmm. months ago. And then this was one of the cards that you were like, I feel like I should put this in this deck. And it's proven to be really good. Okay. That part of that turn is done. I'm going to tap four plus the one I have from Clytho. Yeah, see you at five. And play a Sphere of Safety. I have to attack you for... You have to pay X mana for each creature. You'd have to pay two for each creature. Two for each creature. Okay, that's annoying. Mm-hmm. Well, no pass turn. Um, all right, cool. We're going to um, Bitter Blossom. I will go back to 40, and I will get... This way. Snow White cannot attack this turn. We're gonna play West Valve. I have to pay two for everything? That is so for irritating. Each creature you want to attack with, yes. That's so annoying. And it's only gonna get a larger number. I know it is. I'm only gonna do it with one creature. That would make sense. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to pay two to attack with my lifelinker. Okay. Makes so sense. you're gonna take one. Yep. You're at 32, and I'm gonna gain one. I'm back to 41. I keep flip flopping this life total. And then um, I'm going to pay two and play my pretty cool misprinted corpse knight. I, so that's supposed to be a 2-2? Two, two? It's supposed to be a 2-2, two, two, yeah. Okay. It's misprinted. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, but now I'm gonna, every time I look at that, I'm going to think 2-3. You just have to remember. No. <laughs> I think in a tournament you'd have to use a real one. Go but it's casual, I know. Go ahead. Does anyone, does anyone know? Anyone want to confirm? Any judges out there that know? Okay. I'm going to play Cavern of Souls. Obviously, I think I'm going to need gods. You drew, right? Yes. You drew a card again. I didn't even see you do that. Oh, uh, pre combat, I will exile one of my lands. You got it, coach. Um, so then I'm going to go. One, two, three. Play Enchantress Presence. Yep. And then I'm going to tap two to play Tamarit. Chosen from death. Yep. That is an enchantment, so I get to draw. You do. You do have one floating. Keep this in the back of your brain. Yeah, it wouldn't have made a difference. Okay. Um, I mean, I could have not tapped a land, but it really wouldn't have mattered. Because um, it would have been a red or a green. I needed the double black for that. And so. Okay. Oops, bumped the camera. Um, so Temperate Chosen is equal to your devotion to black, which is two so he's a two two i can exile okay. two cards from graveyards and i gain one life for each creature card exiled this way cool. and you now have to pay four for each creature to attack it's very irritating and i will pass turn oh, spirit safety is like ridiculous in this deck oh god it's so good um cool okay so first off bitter blossom I'm just gonna do this. Um, I'm at 40. Corpse Knight trigger. You're gonna lose a life. This is my game plan is killing you. What does Corpse, Corpse Knight. Knight do? Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under my control, each opponent loses a life. Oh. So this is my map. This is my master plan on how I'm gonna kill you this game. You're just gonna ping me to death very <laughs> so slow. So I'm gonna ping you to death. That's my game plan. So what do I have? A 29 <laughs> turn clock. Um, you're at, let's see, you're at 31. Oh, okay, but yeah, 30 turn well, clock. Um, 
This is it right here, folks. This is the this is the <laughs> high combo. I have six. This needs seven or more. Okay, so I have to pay four for each creature. For each creature, and you have a two-two, but I have flying, so I don't really care. I do have a two-two, yes. but I have flying. On all tokens. Uh, flying, flying. Oh, okay. So wait. Sorry, no. The vampire with lifelink does not have flying. Okay. Okay. Um. That's just a one-one. They're all one ones. Okay. <laughs> so we're, we don't have a lot going on over here. Um, I feel like. I feel like we should play Tesa. I don't know. Okay. I'd have two mana to spare, which doesn't really help. Which means you can't attack. Which means I can't attack. But I have Tesa, mm -hmm. which is helpful. Um, I think I think we're done. Oh, Tesa triggered Corpse Knight triggered. You're at thirty. Uh oh, because a creature entered. Yes. Go ahead. Um, so I'm gonna untap. My goal is to try to kill kill you with corpse knight. That's my. Game I mean, plan this at this rate, you might. Okay, I'm gonna play a polluted delta. Okay. Uh, I'll exile one of my lands again. Yep. So I have a flooding. So yep. one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, Seven. If you do your delta. Yes. And I don't think I'm going to. So I'll get red from that. Actually, I probably will do it, but not now. Yeah. For my point. I got you. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, three. Sorry. I can count. Um, I'm going to play Perforous. Yep. Um, this is the um, God of the Forge, right? Yes. Yeah, got it. The one that deals So whenever damage. another creature enters, yep. it'll deal two damage. All good. Um... And then I have potentially three mana. Um, you already used your mana from that. Right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, my devotion is four for that. I'm going to end turn and then fetch. Sounds good. You're at 29. All right. Untap. Upkeep. Don't think I have any more triumphs. I will take a damage. This goes to four. Wait. I just want to make sure I can produce. Yeah, that goes there. Okay, this goes to four. Three, this is the one that entered the battlefield. Two, Corpse Knight Trigger, you're going to take a damage. You're at 28. Black. White. Red, yes. Okay, I can produce all my colors already. Oh, man. This is so helpful right now. Do you have any artifacts? Yeah, okay. I'm going to wreck your day right now. Well, this still comes in first. That's fine. You you got it. Okay. My triome enters. Okay. All right. I'm in I'm in a very great position right now. You're going to wreck excited. one artifact if you're doing artifacts. I'm going to do wreck an artifact and an enchantment. Oh, no. Crush you're going to hit fierce safety and... One, two, three, four. Four. Yeah, so I'm gonna exile. Oh, I never drew my card from playing Perforos. Oh well. Mistrigger. Exile. Exile. That's a problem. That Sphere of Safety was absolutely wrecking me. Okay. Po okay. Power toughness of your creatures. It's just this, right? Just a Just two -two. that. It's a 2 2. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's meant for a world of hurt here. So. Trying to figure out what I want to do. Well, hold up. Oh, no, I have flying. I just can't attack with this one. Oh, this is great news. Okay, cool. So I have vigilance and I have lifelink. Um, these can all attack. This does not have flying. I'm going to just attack with these. So there are four one ones in the air. I'll take four. Cool. They have lifelink as well. So you're going to take four. You're at 24. I'm going to gain four. I'm at 43. Um, my Legion's Landing is going to trigger when I attack with three or more creatures, transform it. And I now have this. So I can pay three mana to create a 1-1 one, one with lifelink. Mm -hmm. When does this trigger? This is uh, the end step. Do I want to do that for... Yeah. Before that. I'm going to... Um, Wait, you have eight lands. Shouldn't that have triggered at the end of last turn? It's a uh, end step. No, I had. 
Because if you only played one well, land... Well, hold up. I, that, I didn't have that. And oh, then I just right. played a land. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Nope. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's how it happened. Okay. Unless I miss a thing. Okay. Uh, thematic compass. I'm going to grab that. And then at my end step. Where's my destroy all creatures? It's in my hand. You can destroy all creatures. You know me. I always have a board wipe. I know. You should play it. <laughs> Doesn't actually help. I know. Uh, I mean, I, I can get rid of your time. Two you can get time. rid of my tutu. I really don't care about your tutu. I know you don't. Um, cool. Okay. So on my end step, this is going to trigger. I now have a maze of this. Cool. Go ahead. And we're going to untap. God, Bitter Blossom's a ridiculous magic card. And draw. Um, do you only, can you only exile lands with this? No. Just exile target okay. card from the graveyard. I'm assuming you're probably going to want to exile this. Uh, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, I'll exile that and do two damage to you. Can you do it at, um... Nope. It's only me. Okay. It's Ooh. to each opponent, but... Oh, okay. So I'm at 41. Life totals um, this game, just in case you're curious. Yeah. All right, here. I okay. will shock Let's with see. my steam vents because you... You're at 22. One, two, three. Four. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna shock. I miscounted my You're fine. You're I counted my when I was play I was I doing understand. that, but yep, then but we did you that, yeah. Exiled that, yeah. Um We're gonna play Iros got a victory. Okay. Which is me more devotion, but I don't think I've hit seven on anything. That's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five. Um, I have two open. Draw a card. Um, There's a lot of triggers in that deck. It's yeah. This deck is very complicated. Uh, well, that was a good draw. One, two, three, four, five. Tap two. Play Aegis of the Gods. You have hexproof. Yes. Cool. You can't null me now. Or target <laughs> me with spells. You can't lightning bolt me. Oh man, that was my master um, plan. That's an enchantment draw. It says draw each card. opponent, so this doesn't target. I know. So sorry to break uh, it to you. Oh, well, that's convenient. And I will pass the turn. Cool. So, unsap on my upkeep. Bitter Four. Blossom triggers. I take a damage. I'm at 40. You take a damage because of Corpse Knight. You're at 23. Draw a card. Uh, as soon as these come online, there's going to be like 70 damage coming in. Right? You're just going to be like, what? I'm eager. Oh, you do take two from the center because that is a creature. 38. I play the planes. This card is adorable. I love it. Okay. I was kind of relying um, on that sphere of safety lasting longer. So you have a 2-1. I do. And this is still a 2-2. Two, two. Yes. So I can swing with my Tesla and my Tesla will be fine. Oh, uh, no. trade. No, I do not want to do that. <laughs> um, That's fine. I'll just attack you with... Um, Five flyers. Again. I can bring this out, which is really funny. Are you gonna? Oh, are you gonna sacrifice them? I don't bring know. Up the giant thing and hope I don't have a path sitting in my hand. I mean, you don't have any mana, but I it's it's this five turn. and tap, so I would do it like at the end. But yeah. I think I would prefer to. Doesn't do... it enter untapped? Um. Doesn't it say untap and flying lifelink indestructible haste. I don't know how that works because it's five sack it. I yeah, don't, but I doesn't don't know. it say to? I don't know how that Sacrifice works. Sacrifice it, then untap it. So mm. yeah, you would get it untapped. Okay. So I guess, like, should that be my plan? You just I hope I don't have a path or something in my hand. You don't have any mana. Yeah, but you can't kill me this turn if you do that. No. And you're getting rid of a lot of tokens if you do that. I know. That's kind of why I'm like, eh. You know. Let's we'll save it. You know. It's also indestructible, though, right? It is indestructible, yeah. I don't know. I think we'll chill. We'll just ping you for five. We'll I'll take five. Pitch you for five. You're at 
18 and I gain 5. I'm at 43. Um, I'm going to play a really adorable magic card. This card is called Garrison Cat. <laughs> It's when it dies, I create a 1-1. One, one. You'd make two. But then I would make two with Tesa. There's the tech. Are you all set? Um, Garrison Cat, Corpse Knight Trigger. Um, you take an additional damage, you're at 17. Go ahead. I need to get a new sheet of paper because um, I filled up that other sheet of paper. Okay, I'm going to play a Command so I'm Tower. I'm three and you're at 17. Exiling one of my lands, so I have an extra mana. Got it. I have nothing in my yard. So you can't exile anything in mine. Five, six, seven, eight. I have nine. I'm just really scared, like, when a god does come online, it's going to be, like, a really scary moment one, for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm still going to have one floating from that land gonna bring in my commander okay so my commander is on the field you're gonna take two mm -hmm. yeah you're choosing guts yes got it um so i'm taking two damage from first yes. got it i'm at 41 and then i'm gonna play Arthgonian enchantress yep which is shroud and whenever i cast yep. an enchantment spell draw a card and you will take a damage okay. understood uh, my devotion to green, red green is now one, two, three, four, five, six. Very close. One short. Very close. Uh, yeah. I'm all set. That doesn't have haste, but I do now have a six, six on the field. True, but it doesn't have flying. It does not, but I will pass turn. I don't know if I want to break out my Westfield Abbey. I don't know. I feel like these tokens are just pretty good, so I'm going to hold off. But I am going to... I mean, you could save it in response if I play a board wipe. That's true. That's a really good point. I think that's what we'd rather do. Um, I am going to tap three mana, and I'm going to create a 1-1 one, one vampire with lifelink, which I believe is the same as this. Yes. Cool. So now I have two of those at the end of the turn. And um, do I want to high market anything? <laughs> I can high market my garrison cat. Oh, sorry. Um, this entered Corpse Knight triggered, so you take a damage. I think I am going to do that. I'm going to high market my Garrison Cat. Um, so this is going to die. I'm going to get two tokens. When they enter the battlefield, you're going to take two damage. You're at 14. Mm -hmm. I have an army. Okay. You have zero cards in your hand. I have one card in my hand. One card in your hand. Okay. Upkeep. Better Blossom. I will take a damage. You will also take a damage. Draw a card. Oh my god. This is like the story of my life is drawing like seven board wipes and like it's not helpful. This is how I feel whenever I play angels. I I'm mean like, you oh get rid of I have hexproof and I get to draw two cards when I play an enchantment. So they have two creatures on the field currently. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to punch you for six. six in the air. We'll take six in the air. I'm at what, you six? You will take six in the air. Now you're at seven. Oh, I was off. I'm going to gain that and go to 45. And um, you want to hear something really funny? What? I'll tell you after. Go ahead. Honestly, I probably could have swung for more there, but it's probably. fine. Honestly, I probably should have. Oh, I feel like I messed up. Maybe I missed Temple of Enlightenment, I will scry one. That doesn't really help. Do you have, like, some crazy card in your hand? No. Okay. I think that's game. Yeah, because I can, at the end of turn, Westvale Abbey. Um, put that on the bottom. Because I can just do pop, pop. And then I'm going to go pop. one... Two, I should have done that earlier, and then I could have killed you. That was really four. silly on my, my part. Play an agent of Erebos. Draw two cards. You take two. I'm at forty-three. That would have been way useful about four turns ago. Um, sacrifice the land. I keep forgetting that trigger. Um. Four plus the one, 
Sigil of the Empty Throne. Whenever you cast an enchantment creature, put a 4-4 four, four ah, white creature. That would have and been I can draw very two cards. Helpful. And do I take damage when you draw cards? No. Oh, okay. You only took the two from Erebos. Okay. And I would be absolutely great now 